churches of Scientology have no accountability, no audits. There's no checks and balances. The money that gets taken in vanishes into the black nebulars of nowhere. There is no accounting. So if I gave $10,000 for some books for a library, even if the library sent it back and kicked it out the door, returned to sender, the person who paid that money would never be notified that there was no delivery. There's no accounting as even if Bridge ever used that money again. There, the, there are no books that are ever examined by an external authority. The flag land base supposedly gets in $2 million a week. It used to be three. Is there any accounting? The IRS, after giving tax exemption, gave a window of five years where it wanted to look at the books. After those five years, it's free and clear. Scientology can do what it wants with the money, when it wants with the money, how it wants with the money. So these huge extorted sums that Scientology, Inc., the Church of Scientology International claims is doing world programs for the better good, handling illiteracy and continence, changing the crime wave of Colombia to 50%. There is no audit of where the money goes. Is an OSA charged with the legal oversight of the church? OSA have a legal department, maybe 20, 30 CO members, in legal. That's in addition to all the lawyers and so on they handle. OSA know about the financial irregularities. OSA know and are in cahoots with it. My account that I had a, a, advanced payments on flag that they illegally sent me boxes and boxes of basics for that I didn't order. And I had UPS come and pick it up. And you know what my UPS driver told me? He said, oh my God! He said, the whole of UPS is talking about all these return rejects. Even the driver of UPS knew how Los Angeles residents were flooded with packages. There wasn't even room in the trucks. That many huge boxes had to be sent back that it was even red flagged at UPS level. FSO is sending out illegal packages that customers are refusing to have. Financial irregularities is this. When you give advance payments to anything, let's say you put money down for a car and you put a down payment. If you change your mind, that money is yours. It's like a bank that has credit. The Church of Scientology will not refund you your advance payments. Letter after letter say, we are not obligated to give you back your advance donation. Charities don't have to refund a donation. And the church hammers and hammers the point that the IRS said they were a religion. Yeah, Eastern Standard Time. The IRS issued letters recognizing Scientology and every one of its organizations has fully tax exempt. October 1993, thousands gather in Los Angeles to celebrate as David Miscavige, the leader of the Church of Scientology, announces victory over the IRS. 
For years, the U.S. government had refused to recognize Scientology as a religion and was demanding it pay a billion dollars in back taxes. After a bitter legal battle, the IRS relented and granted tax-exempt status. There will be no billion-dollar tax bill which we can't pay. There will be no more discrimination. Yes, OSA have a legal department. And you would think that they would police the church to be legal financially. But Scientology Inc. only believes in a one-way flow of money coming in. It will not refund or let you have your money back, even if you are miserable about the services that they gave you. In 1952, the, the church was tax-exempt, but they lost it in 1972, 20 years later, because of what? Financial irregularities in Newman. The church has always been crooked, shady, criminal on money issues. Always. It's right through time. They will not pay their fair share of taxes. Who pays for medical when a CEO member gets a diabolical illness? The taxpayer! So while they don't pay tax, they milk the system. Free police, fire station services, free 911 services, free paramedics, free medical, leeching off the taxpayer. While the church will not pay its fair share of taxes. Religion! Tax free! <laughs> So oh.